With Pay Clock Online, editing employees' time cards is a breeze. The time card displays the data associated with the employees selected in the employee list for the selected pay period. This video will cover filtering and grouping a list of employees, adding, editing, and deleting punches, non-work time, and amounts, as well as changing employee departments and departmental transfers. To begin, use the employee list and menu button to filter or group and select an employee and select the desired pay period. You can edit data in the four open pay periods, which are considered the active pay periods. If the pay period type is set to custom, only two open pay periods will be active. Historical pay periods are the ones that you have closed using the close button, which locks the pay periods from future edits. The time card contains an area that resembles a spreadsheet that allows you to key in punch data. The time card can also be used to insert, edit, and delete punch data. To start off, we will have to select the pay class, pay period, and employee from the employees list and for ease we can use the search option to look for the exact employee that you want to see. There is also the ability to filter or group the employee list. To filter the employee list select the menu icon at the top of the list. Choose the group filter option. From here the time cards user preferences will open. Choose the department or departments you wish to filter by, or if you wish to include terminated or inactive employees. Select Save and Exit. The employer will now contain the employees associated to the filter options selected. To group the employee list, select the menu icon at the top of the list. Choose the Group Filter option. The time card user preferences will open. At Group Employees By, choose either Department or Employee Type, select Save and Exit. The list of employees will be separated into the Group option selected. To add punches directly to a time card, select either an in or out cell on a day you want the punch to be added. The cell will be highlighted when it's selected. Type in the hour, the cursor will automatically move to the minutes. Type in the minutes, the cursor will automatically move to AM, PM if your time is set to 12 hour format. Type in an ARP to change to AM or PM. Press enter on your computer keyboard to save the punch. To add punches using the insert button, select the insert button and choose registration. The insert registration window will now open. Type in the hour, the cursor will automatically move to the minutes. Type in the minutes, the cursor will automatically move to AM PM if your time is set to 12 hour format. Type in an A or P to change to AM or PM. Enter the date for the punch, select save and exit, and the punch will now be added to the time card. To edit a punch, select the punch to be edited and press the enter key on the computer keyboard. Type in the hour, the cursor will automatically move to the minutes. Type in the minutes, the cursor will automatically move to AM PM if the time is set to 12 hour format. Type in an A or P to change to AM or PM. Press enter on the computer keyboard to save the change. The punch will be bolded to indicate that the punch has been edited. To delete a punch, select the punch to be deleted. You will know you have selected it when the cell is highlighted. Press the delete key on your computer keyboard or choose the delete button on the time card toolbar. Select yes to confirm that you want to delete the punch. To add non-work time directly to the time card, locate the non-work time column and select the cell for the day that you want to add the non-work time. You will know it's selected when a cell is highlighted. Type in the amount of hours and minutes for the non-work time and press enter on your computer's keyboard to save the non-work time. To add non-work time from using the insert button, select the insert button and choose non-work time. The insert non-work time window will open. Enter the amount of non-work time at the duration field for the example 8 Zero, 00 for 8 hours. Select which pay code to apply the non-work time, for example, vacation.
Select the date you wish to apply the non-work time. Select save and exit. The non-work time will now be added to the time card. To edit non-work time, locate the non-work time column and then select the cell containing the non-work time you want to edit. You will know you have it selected when the cell is highlighted. Press the enter key on the computer keyboard and then type in a new amount for the non-work time. Press enter on your computer keyboard and save the non-work time. To delete non-work time, locate the non-work time column and select the cell containing the non-work time you want to edit. You will know you have it selected when the cell is highlighted. Press the delete key on your computer keyboard or choose the delete button on the time card toolbar. Select yes to confirm that you want to delete the non-work time. You can add, edit, or delete amounts from the amount editor which is within the time card. An amount would be considered a dollar value, for example, $25 in tips, or accounts such as 50 pieces of something. To add amounts directly to the time card, locate the amount column and select the cell for the day that you want to add the amount. A button with three periods will display. Select this button, the edit amounts window will open. Choose the new amount button, select the date the amount will be applied to, Select which pay code to apply the amount, for example, tips. Enter the value of the amount, for example, 25 for $25. Select save and exit. The amount will be added to the time card. To add amounts from the insert button, select the insert button and choose amounts. The edit amounts window will now open. Choose the new amount button. Select the date the amount will be applied to. Select which pay code to apply for the amount, for example, tips. Enter the value for the amount, for example, 25 for $25. Select save and exit. The amount will be added to the time card. To edit amount, select the insert button and choose amounts. The edit amounts window will open. Locate and select the amount to be edited make the needed edit whether it is the date or amount value. Select save and exit. The edited amount will be added to the time card. To delete amount, select the insert button and choose amounts. The edit amounts window will open. Select the amount to be deleted. You know it's selected when the row is highlighted. Choose the delete amount button on the toolbar. Select save and exit. The amount will be removed from the time card. To add a note to pay clock online, highlight the row for the date you wish to add the note. Select the add note button. The add note window will now open. Type in your desired text and press save and exit. To edit a note, highlight the row for the date you wish to edit this note. Select the edit note button. The edit note window will now open. Make your desired changes to the text press save and exit. To delete a note, highlight a row for the date that you wish to delete the note. Select the edit note button, the edit note window will open. Press the delete button. To make a one-time department change, double click the department cell for the day that you want to make the department change. The cell will change to a list with available departments. Select the desired department in the list. The change will take effect immediately. You can add a department transfer by using the insert button on the time card toolbar. Added department transfers will display bolded identifying they were manually added. Select the insert button and choose department transfer. The insert transfer window will open. Type in the hour, the cursor will automatically move to the minutes. Type in the minutes, the cursor will automatically move to AM, PM if your time is set for 12 hour format. Type in A or P to change to AM or PM. From the list, select the department for the transfer, enter the date for the transfer. Select save and exit, and the transfer will be added to the time card. Global edits allows for you to add registrations, non-work time, 
and benefit time to an individual employee, group of employees, or all employees. You can also purge registrations or non-work time, remove time card approvals, and change basic employee settings for individual employee, group of employees, or all employees.